All right, it's summertime. Let's take a break. Now I'm not take, saying take a break from what you're doing. I'm saying it's time to take the brakes off this Cadillac and replace them with some fresh stuff. It's got a little over 100,000 miles. We can hear some brake noise going on, so we're just going to replace the uh, rotors and pads on the front. We're going to take a look at the backs too, but uh, you know we'll see what's going on. Usually the backs tend to last longer than the fronts, so we're going to get these brakes taken care of. First step, jack the car up. Done! I did that off camera because you guys know how to jack up a car. I'm pretty sure about that. Anyways, we're going to get the wheel off. We're going to see what we're up against. Stay tuned. Okay, for all you guys who have done GM brakes before, this is, happens to be a 2000 Cadillac, but my Yukon's the same. A lot of the GM stuff looks the same. You've basically got uh, a carrier that holds the pads, the caliper, has the caliper bolts here and the carrier bolts right there. You take the carrier off if you need to replace the rotor, which we kind of do. You can come here, you can see how the pad is pretty much right against the rotor. And interesting note, these brakes have never been done before. You can see the little gold retainers. Now I've seen guys go so far as to carefully take those off to put them back on. I'm not that guy. I take those things off with a pair of wire cutters or pliers or whatever's handy and they don't go back on because frankly uh, it's not worth my time. Anyway, so we're going to pop that guy off. We're going to take that 15 free and this 15 over here on the carrier. We're going to take that guy free. Everything's going to come off. That rotor slides straight off and uh, this guy, the pads just slide front and rear. Oh. Oh, 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 one more thing. That piston is way out there. I'm going to grab a C-clamp and we're going to compress that piston back into where it needs to be. Now, after you compress your piston, before you drive the car, while it's still up on jack stands, before you move it at all, don't put it in gear, don't do nothing, pump the brakes sensibly to make sure that you bring that piston back in contact with the pads and the rotor. Because if you don't, you throw that thing in gear and uh, the brakes aren't going to do much for you because the piston's not touching anything. There's no friction happening. So, compress the piston. Always carefully step on the brakes to bring that piston back out when you're done. Don't ask me how I know. Anyway, so we're going to time lapse this. We're going to get all this stuff knocked off, knocked free. And uh, this is pretty quick and easy GM brake stuff here. <laughs> Okay, let's talk parts for a minute. You can see that rotor, or that pad, there is nothing left to it. And uh, that rotor has a pretty big, uh, I mean, not big, but it's got a lip to it. It's definitely uh, been wearing a little funny, especially with that pad actually having some moderate life left in it. But I always know the piston side tends to wear a little bit quicker than the non-piston side, just the way that material flexes and all that good stuff. So we're going to get that guy cleaned up. These little uh, uh, sliding surfaces, they typically get replaced with every set of pads. It's just the way it works. You can put never seize on them. I've seen grease, never seize. You know, as long as they slide nice, that's what matters. Now, uh, the bolts that came out of the carrier for the uh, caliper bolts, those do have some amount of grease on them. They're just out of my reach at the moment. Always clean those up, grease things back up before you put it back together. Never seize, wheel bearing grease, uh, you know. I've seen all sorts of things. Whatever works for you. So, time for some part swapping. Okay, so I've got my assistant, my young son Rikers, out here helping me do this stuff. Uh, these are the uh, replacement pad slider thingy-majigs. Uh, luckily on this Cadillac, they're the same. I've done a Chrysler 
that uh, you about lose your mind because they're like 30 thousandths difference and they don't just neatly fit on. So these guys just snap into place and press on. Really easy, Ugh, except for that one, a little stiff, but that's okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on the surfaces where the uh, pads slide. I'm just using a little bit of wheel bearing grease because I've got it handy and it doesn't really take much to do the job. I'm sure there's mechanics out there that may be cringing, but you know something? It does work. Tell me it doesn't. So, anyways, we got that guy greased up. Let's come over here to the rotor. So, these are the black oxide rotors that are coming pretty regularly from parts houses. Now, just like any of the classic rotors, uh, you want to make sure you always give them a heavy dose of brake clean front and rear so that way whew, that stuff stinks <coughs> so that way the brake surface is free of any grease and oils that this may be packed with so same thing just clean both sides of where the friction material is going to be and we're done Oh, it already. All right, and just like that, we are back together. Now, uh, two items of note. Uh, you, know me, you notice me fiddle with the pads for a minute. Uh, two of them have the little um, squeaker finger. Two of them don't. And then, because the rotor, you know, isn't necessarily bolted down to anything, it just kind of floats and you put the wheel tight against it, it holds it in place, uh, it was kind of kicked off at a slight angle. And I was noticing that the pads, one was like, over the top of the rotor and the other sub one was way inboard of the rotor edge of the rotor anyways so jiggled the rotor got that squared back up pads are in there nice and happy there's a little bit of a gap there on the piston less than i expected to see but anyways uh we are in business and uh that is just one side of this you know you don't need to watch me do the other side it's exactly the same so yeah, that's the Cadillac brakes uh, re repair and replacement in uh, you know real short time. All right, I'm going to go put the wheel on back on this. You guys know how to do that. If you've gotten this far, you know how to put a wheel and tire back on. I'm going to go put this one back on. Go do the other side. It's exactly the same. So, you know, it is what it is. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, you know, share all that good stuff that everybody always says. Hey, do those things for me. It really helps out the channel. Yeah, it truly does, you know. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hopefully, we'll be working on race cars next.